Hello and welcome. Are you tired of eating the same boring meals after completing your 40 hours a day of practice? If so, you should check out today's sponsor, HelloFresh. HelloFresh delivers fresh, pre-portioned ingredients right to your doorstep so you can cook delicious and healthy meals in the comfort of your own home. Whether you play the trumpet, the trombone or something completely unmusical like a clarinet, you need a balanced and nutritious diet to fuel your playing. And HelloFresh has got you covered with a wide variety of recipes that cater to your dietary needs. Plus with HelloFresh you can save time and energy on grocery shopping and meal planning so you can focus on what really matters, such as counting rests and mispitching high notes. So why not give HelloFresh a try? Sign up today by clicking the link in the video description. This isn't a Holton Firebird, but I'm going to pretend that it is. Now if you've seen my video on the Superbone, then you'll already be familiar with many of the people and the companies behind that instrument. The Firebird, like the Superbone, is a hybrid instrument that was made by Holton, and it combines both valves and a trombone style slide. Uh, this was, the Holton Firebird was made in the 1980s and sort of built on the success of the Superbone, which was released about 10 years earlier. This, unfortunately, isn't a genuine Firebird. It's a similar concept instrument made in the Czech Republic by a company called Lidl, L-I-D-L. I'm not sure if there is a better way of pronouncing that or not. Uh, and it may have been intended to sort of be a cheap knockoff of the Firebird, um, but it's certainly not as well polished. On real Holton Firebirds, they have a profusion of fingerings all over the instrument, enabling the instrument to be played with any hand that you want. If you want to hold it right-handed, play the valves right-handed and the slide left-handed, then you absolutely could. On the alternate side, if you wanted to play the valves left-handed and the slide right-handed, there were additional pinky rings up on the bell section, there were more rings on the slide section to enable that sort of flexibility. On this instrument, however, you've got no slide lock is the first thing that you don't have, so the slide will just fall off if you're not careful. Um, but if you hold the instrument as you would normally hold a trumpet, then the only pinky ring that you get is actually going to lock the slide shut. So if you want to play it right-handed, then you sort of have to... You don't really have a way of, of holding the instrument just one-handed. Likewise, if you wanted to try and play it left-handed, you'd have to, you, you can do that a little bit better, but your pinky going under the bell uh, kind of gets in the way. An annoying playability element is that this is a hook, not a ring. So if you wanted to use the pinky ring and adjust the tuning just with your pinky, you can't because it's not a ring. It doesn't go all around your, it doesn't go all around your pinky. And one of my sort of nebulous thoughts is that perhaps what I might do is take some finger rings and solder them in strategic points so that I can make this a more usable instrument. That being said, um, I'm not sure if I'll do that because this instrument isn't in brilliant condition. The slide is uh, appallingly corroded. Um, and the valves aren't great either. Now the valves are in good condition, they're just not a great design. One of the other sort of less noticeable but very important differences between this and the Firebird is that the Firebird is actually tunable and it utilizes a thing called tuning in slide. That is the outer slide on this is just a solid piece of brass. This is, this is one component. Whereas instruments which have tuning in slide they have two pieces of brass as that form the outer slide and you can slide them very slightly like a tuning slide. So you could elongate slightly the outer slide to give you a little bit of fine tuning. This instrument doesn't have any of that capability which means the tuning of the instrument is the tuning of the instrument. You, you can't really do anything other than sort of try and adjust this left handed or potentially right handed whilst you're playing. There is one advantage to this version of the Firebird though, and that is that it has more positions. The Holton Firebird originally only had about four slide positions to play with. There was a later version that had some sort of telescopic slide arrangement that gave it more positions. 
Couldn't find any images or anything about that, so it may have just been a very limited run. But this actually has nearly a complete slide, um, which is, means that it has quite a lot more flexibility if you wanted to use this as more of a, a, a slide instrument and less of a valved instrument. It has almost six positions, charitably about five and three quarters before you run the risk of the slide coming off the end. Like the Superbone, the Firebird appears to have been predominantly developed for jazz use. Uh, the great Maynard Ferguson and James Morrison both have got an extensive history of playing that instrument. Uh, but of course, me being a far less talented and entirely non-jazz musician, my ability to do anything sophisticated with this instrument is not particularly well advanced. What I'm interested in though is what you would do with one of these if you had one of these. So let me know your thoughts if you think this kind of slide valve combination is uh, something that we should have more of in the world or whether you think it's kind of done its dash. Thank you very much for watching.